Hey Wes here, Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate that. And today I am making a ring pot. We've been doing this in the ancient pottery club and it turns out to be kind of a difficult thing for me to construct. Uh, first two I made, total failures did not work. Uh, this is my third one. Not too bad. I'm not unhappy with it. Uh, this is what they're supposed to look like. And so I thought I would try another one today. And if that interests you, please come along. The first ring jar that I tried to make, I, uh, I put it inside of a pookie. And it, the outside rim worked pretty good, but I needed something to curve up on the inside. And that uh, didn't work out too well. So my third option was to make a ring jar pookie. And all this is, is this plain clay. I haven't fired it. Uh, I might in the future. And then just uh, carved out uh, a concave indentation uh, for the jar to fit in. And so far that has worked out pretty well. So I'm going to try that again and see if I can do even better. sticky but it seems to be uh, staying where I put it so that's good news. The challenge with these ring pots is how do you get things all connected and smoothed out. Uh, you don't have ready access to the inside of your pot like you would with a regular jar. step is to add a coil around the top and the idea then is to bring that coil over once it's flattened out and join it into the middle ring. So let's make the coil. The goal now is to bring the outside edge into the inside and I do that in pieces so that I have room to get a finger in to smooth out each, uh, each little section. The other issue here is the diameter on the outside is much larger than the diameter on the inside. So I have to kind of cut these into pie shaped pieces and I'll just do that along the way and I'll work around it and eventually I'll back when I end up back over here I'll have a place for the spout. So the goal here is to kind of gently bring this into a tube and smooth it out. And I 
I don't have much room, but I, the benefit here is I don't have any seam on the outside. I just have a seam on the inside. And I barely have enough room to get a finger in there to try and smooth out that seam. The important thing I think is to get this inside seam as good as I can. But you can see that the next piece needs to be kind of pie shaped. See already you need to cut off some of this because that inside diameter is smaller than the outside diameter. So there's a lot of piecing with this. And it sure as heck isn't perfect. There probably is a better way to do this. I just haven't figured out what it is yet. Another possibility would be to make the bottom is one big donut, make the top is another donut that fit right, fit right on top. Again, you'd have an issue with trying to get into the inner seam, but everything would be seen from the outside. obviously broke off but I think we can fix that just put too much pressure on it you can see what that's looking like though let's smooth this up a little bit and see if we can look at it to look a little bit better all right now let's see if we can put a Now what I need to do is put a handle on this. Okay, here's what I've got so far. It's kind of rough, but once it firms up good, I'll come back and do some smoothing, get all the bumps out of it, and see what I end up with. I know that the bottom, I probably shouldn't do this, it's rough. The bottom is really rough, uh, but that's okay. The ring pots have been made. This is the first one I did. Now it is painted with a white slip and black mineral paint. So we'll see how that turns out. And then this is the actual ring pot that I made uh, during the video. It is just uses a brown uh, paste or clay, but I think this ought to turn out pretty orange and with a Kayenta design, again, with mineral paint. So let's get these things fired and see how they turn out. Well, let's wrap this thing up. I'm not going to bore you showing you another fire, uh, but I did fire these pots. Some good news, bad news. 
bad news, this one here uh, got a crack in it. And in fact, I fired this twice. I was trying to get rid of some of this uh, smoke cloud on this and I got rid of some of it, but it, it didn't fire real well. The crack actually goes all the way around it. And so uh, I'm pretty certain that that has to do with construction. And there was just a seam there, I think, and, and it cracked, so it wasn't solid. Uh, otherwise, I mean, in some ways it's okay, but uh, it's broke, so it's not okay. Uh, however, this one, this is the pot that I made in the video. Uh, and so it turned out good. Uh, I think some of the firing could have been maybe a little bit better, but it rings fine. I think the colors are all right. There are no cracks. Uh, so all is good. Now, so this is just the way that I made a ring pot. There are certainly other ways to do it. Uh, and who knows how Native Americans did it, say, 700 years ago. Probably different than what I did. But this worked for me. And I would be curious to know what might work for you if you have other things that uh, you have done. I would appreciate that. So thanks for joining me, coming along on this little journey. I appreciate that. appreciate your subscriptions and your thumbs up and comments, all those kinds of things. And until next time, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings wishing you health, happiness, peace and love. Take care. Bye-bye.